Hi everybody, I received a lot of comments and stuff about my shark that I use, my shark vertex. I have other videos that people watch, it kind of helps you learn how to unclog this and everything. And one of the questions is people asking about the filter, if you can use it when it's wet, how to clean it, all that fun stuff. So this dude, super dirty right now, and um, I'm just gonna show you how to clean the filter right now. I will clean the whole canister, which you can do with water when you take it apart. But for now, let's work on that. First of all, in order to empty it, you've got this button right here, it looks like a trash can. You press it down and that is how it opens and that's how you empty the canister part of it into your trash can. But for now, what I'm gonna show you is on the other side and it's this button right here. And I don't usually do this holding it, so let's try this, okay. So you push it in and you pull this off. Okay, set that down. This part right here, this is one of your filters that can be cleaned. Um, as you can tell, mine's got a little bit of a dirt spot on it. Not too bad. I, I mean, I clean it fairly regularly if I can. Um, I've also been doing a lot of like remodeling in the house and stuff, so it's been super dirty. Um, this is the dirtiest side of it, and that's like the up part that was touching the other pad. So clearly it needs to get washed. Clearly it is all dirty. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to clean it. So here we are at the sink, you're just going to turn your water on and you just kind of rub it all out. This is really hard to do one-handed. I don't have a tripod stand. Um, you can use Dawn, which I usually use, but I'm actually currently in my bathroom, so I'm just going to use that real quick. So what you want to do now is you just want to squeeze all that excess water out, which I have already done. I've already got it cleaned. Um, I do recommend going ahead and using Dawn dish soap. It does help a lot more than just like hand soap. Um, but this is considered clean. I mean, you're always going to have a little bit of stains every once in a while. This thing you should be able to use for pretty much the life of your vacuum cleaner, but you can buy replacement ones if you need to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to let it air dry for 24 hours or longer if it needs it, but it should not meet lead need longer than 24 hours and then you just put it back in your vacuum cleaner when it's done do not use your vacuum cleaner with this wet um it was a very specific in the manual not to do that i don't know what happens if you do because i have not tried it but i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm going to do a real quick show of how to put it back together even though i have not let it dry yet i'm not going to use it so don't worry um, like i said this part needs cleaned i will get that cleaned so you're just going to take your filter, you're going to put it right back at the top of this, it pushes it down all nice, put this with the red tab on top so you can pull it off, and then to put it back on your vacuum cleaner, you just align the shapes and snap it on, and you're good to go. So that's all it takes to clean this filter, it is not hard, and like I said, wait till it dries before you use your vacuum cleaner. Shoot me any more messages and comments about this vacuum cleaner that you would like me to show you how to use, or have questions about. So thank you guys for watching this.